Hi and welcome to Picks and Science. Today it's just a short tutorial on dithering. Um, if you've been out of an evening and you've been dithering, you're quite new to it and you're unsure how to process that data, this is perfect for you. Um, from the beginning, I just wanted to show you what I would do. So process, all processes, and then blink. Now, what I want to do is import all the individual images from last night. Um, the reason for this, and I don't really need to worry about satellites because Divering will actually get rid of that. So what I am actually looking for is a re good reference images, image that has no satellites going through it and is quite dark. So that one looks good to me. So I'm just going to remember the number. 00818, sorry, it's 233848. So 233848, I'm going to come out of that and close. I'm going to go to script, batch processing, and weighted batch processing. First thing I'm going to do is actually go to my reference image, and then it's going to be that's the one, just before I forget. And then you want to make sure you've got an output directory. This is where all your um, registered frames are going to end up. Um, I'm using this one and I'm going to put it in the master folder. Okay, so make sure that generate drizzle data is ticked. Lights, add your lights. And then flats. Darks, I tend to organise these quite well, um, it just saves a lot of pain when you come to do this process, and bias frames. I've actually uh, changed my calibration frames lately through advice from others, so because I use a ZWA ASI 533, I, um, it has been recognised that bias frames are not the best for this camera. So I do dark flats, which are basically the same time um, as the flats, but obviously with the cap on. Okay, so we've got the bias frames, dark frames, flat frames and light frames. I've made sure that I generate drizzle data, I've ticked that. Um, you can take a note of what I'm doing here. The reason I haven't got optimised dark frames, again, is because my camera doesn't like that. Um, so once that's all done, I'm going to click that. I can ignore that. You can see the reason why I use dark flats now. It's obviously given me a warning there straight away. Um, and then run. It will give me that same message and then I can continue. This will take a little while so I'll obviously pause the recording and come back. Hi and welcome back. It looks like we're just about to finish. And so we've got 24 light frames, registration complete. So you can just press OK to that and exit and yes. Okay, so what we have got, if I open File, um, if I, this is where I saved it in the master folder, and now you can see that these extra folders have been created. What we're interested in is anything in the registered folder. Um, these are the lights, and then behind that will actually be Drizzle Data, and I'll show you that in one moment. So we can go to Process, all processes and then image integration and we want to add files so what we're interested in and you don't want to make the mistake of going into your light and then selecting all them you want to make sure you go into the registered no filter and then highlighting 
all of the lights in there. And then you want to do the same thing to add drizzle files. You know they are drizzle files because it says XDRZ file. So highlight all of those. And open. So they've all been included. The only thing I change on here is Windsor Eyes Sigma Clipping. And then once that's done, everything else can stay the same. And then you can just hit Apply Global. And again, that shouldn't take too long. Um, I may stop the recording and come back to you anyway. Okay, that's just finishing up now. So what we're left with is the rejections. Um, we can pretty much just get rid of them because what I'm about to do will create the image that I'm after. Um, so that's integrated the drizzle data into the lights. So what I need to do now is a drizzle integration. So the only files I'm going to add here are the drizzle files. So if I highlight all of those and open and nothing else has changed in here, I can just apply global. Uh, again, this might take a little while, so I'm going to pause for now. Okay, so we are just finishing up now. Um, you can close the drizzle integration down. And if you, if I actually, if I do a screen transfer, you can see the rejection. These are all the satellite and aeroplanes that are going by and it has rejected them all. So you can see a massive benefit when you're differing of an evening. And this is obviously the image we're left with. And then you can be begin processing. Ignore the green, that's obviously from the filter and will be taken out when I process further. Um, again, short video, very simple to do. But again, if you're new and you don't know how to do it, it's such a waste of uh, um, dithering of an evening. So anyway, I hope this was useful. Please subscribe or hit the like button. Um, I'd like to do some more videos of this. I am a beginner, I'm learning, so if anyone has any comments on how to do this differently, it's easier doing it another way, then I'm always open to um, this information. Anyway, thanks for watching.